Unfortunately, my trip in Montreal is coming to a close. Um, just got all my stuff packed up. Checkout time at the Airbnb is super early. It would have been nice if I could have like left my luggage in here and then gone around the city a little bit more. But nah, I gotta get everything packed up and put it in my car and uh, hopefully nothing gets stolen wherever I park. Granted though, I don't think that theft is as huge of a problem here as it is in San Francisco. I would not park on the streets in San Francisco. I never park on the streets in San Francisco. Real quick before we go, take a quick look outside and enjoy the view one last time. So I think I might just head down to um, sort of the downtown again and maybe walk around the city a little bit more and maybe find like a cafe, grab a drink, um, pass some time. This uh, next door restaurant to the pigeon coffee place that I was just at, and this is the Notre, the Notre something. So I've noticed a lot of menus here do this. So like they've got one side is the French side, and then the upside down side, or the opposite side is the English side. All right, check out this poutine. Sunny side up big and um, tater tots. Usually they do french fries. You gotta mix that egg in there. You get everything all mixed up. Hmm. The only thing I think with this one is that the hollandaise sauce they put on it, I think it kind of overpowers the gravy. So it doesn't really have your typical poutine taste. headed to a, um, a big market. My parents asked me to pick up some maple syrup for them and so I'm headed to this place. I don't know if they will have any here but hopefully they'll have some maple syrup. One thing I, I will say about all of the roads here in, in, in Montreal is that the road lines are gone. There is no road lines. You, you cannot see. <laughs> okay, thank you. There, there are no road lines. So I was driving in like a five lane road for one of them and there were no lines. So I was like, where the heck are people going? And a lot of times, because I'm so new here, I can't tell whether it's like a two lane or three lane road or what. So really, I just, it almost feels like people are just driving all over the place. If there were a lot more cars, I would say this would be a really hectic place. Wow, this market is huge. I'm sure I'll be able to find some maple syrup somewhere. If not that, probably something interesting to take home. Hopefully something non-perishable. We got empanadas, soups, quite a large variety and selection of flowers, meats. I'm sure there's a lot of interesting foods here to try as well, but I'm so full from the poutine I just ate. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. So it says this is syrup aged in bourbon bottles. So we've got a There's sample. There's no alcohol in it. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, I'll take a I'll take a bottle. Yeah, just one is good. Actually, no, I'll take two. I'll take two. One for myself, one for my parents. So I just bought two bottles of that maple syrup. Spent fifty dollars on it. So expensive, but you know, I suppose uh, when in Montreal, why not? It looks like a large portion of this market is flowers, mostly flowers, plants, house plants, herbs, and uh, a lot of fruit. Unfortunately, the rain is coming down pretty hard now, so I don't want to get my GoPro wet with the med medium on on it. My goodness, are these what I think they are? Egg tarts? Wow, these look really good. A lot of places selling syrups. Cheese. Oh, I like these. they pottery. Oh, a lot of dried mushrooms. They have dried morals. Fish. Crab, lobster. But before I head back to the car, I thought I'd walk around the neighborhoods a little bit and show you guys what the housing looks like over here. Okay, last stop before I head to the airport, checking out the biodome. Now, it was absolutely not my intention, but I have now stumbled upon a medieval fair. Some type of uh, Salon de la Passion Medieval. 